Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Ollie. And Ollie is a Maltese and he is a senior dog. Um, he is going to be a little bit more difficult as uh, he's been to the his last groomer. He was coming to me for a while but then his owner had to try a new groomer. And um, which is fine, but the, the last groomer was a little bit inexperienced and was unable to trim his face and um, stressed him out a little bit so she's uh, he doesn't like his face being done now and he is a senior dog as well so that is makes him a little bit more difficult of a dog to do um, and it's a little harder when you um, don't have the experience so I'm gonna get started on him and we're gonna see how we do but I'm gonna get in there but I probably will have to use a little bit more techniques um, to hold him so hopefully he'll do okay I'm gonna start with the feet instead of the face to let him know and hopefully he'll remember me but of course when they are senior dogs they they do change the behavior a little bit as well where they can be a little bit more nippy so we will just work with him here and try to get him the best cut I can he is a little bit vocal a little impatient, I would say. But his owner said he's 14 years old right now. So I guess he's earned it. So, okay, bud. So if you do like this video and you'd like to see more, please, uh, Check out and subscribe to my channel where I have more videos of dogs that I've groomed from start to finish. And I've also just focused in on some areas that you may want to um, work on yourself with your dog, like just the nails or just the face. You can see that he's a little reactive to his face being touched. So like I said, I'm going to come to that a little bit later. And uh, probably I'm going to do these two feet and do a little bit of his face and then do the other two feet and come back to his face. Do a bath, come back to his face. I'm going to just kind of break it up a little bit and hopefully he'll get tired faster than I will get tired and we'll be able to get him all cleaned up. Okay, it's okay. But he is a little reactive for sure. So there is a chance that he will bite when doing his face. So I do have some techniques for that as well, which I will show you. But him licking is one uh, indicator that he may bite. He's kind of just testing the waters. Good boy. It's okay. That's why I wanted to start with the feet. Usually I do start with the face, but I just wanted him to ease into me grooming him again. And the feet are difficult to groom. The face and feet areas are, are the most difficult on a dog to groom. Because they got so many different curves and sensitive areas around it. And they like to move around a lot. So you don't want to just do it too quickly. with anyone when you're just learning and just starting out the best practice is just to keep on going you'll get better and better but make sure you have your techniques really good as you can see I don't use any restraints when I groom and it just makes uh, you have to have better techniques but I find well 
guess I don't know. I've never restrained the dog, so but I'm assuming that they are more calm than when they are restrained. I think he has uh, sore teeth as well, just being his age and stuff too, so holding him may be a little bit harder. So hopefully we'll be able to figure something out between the two of us here and compromise so I'm still able to groom his face. Hey, no. There's a bite. So I might have to put this on him. <clears throat> Just to get his nails done. And also just to let him know that I don't tolerate it. <clears throat> and that I'm going to keep going. Even if he does try to bite. Oh, and, and he got through there. Here, a quick little guy. Too small. It's too big for him. He finds a way to get through. It's all about making sure you have a good setup because you want to make sure that you are safe as well. I do have an extra thing set on this one. Oh my goodness, come on, boy. There we go. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna just put one on. All right, I have to go with a size smaller there. So, okay, it's okay. So, I'm just gonna finish with cutting his nail here, his dew claw. And this other one again. There you go. So because of that, now I'm going to not do his face. I'm going to continue on with his feet. So I just got to be careful to make sure of the dew claws, which he does have some. But they're really tucked into the fur, so it'll be really easy to cut the uh, pad on the dew claw if you weren't aware. So you always got to check. This one's a really small flap of skin. It's okay, buddy. So we'll hopefully get his face done today. Guess we shall find out. Because he is um, more prone to biting, I probably will um, do a pre-cut on him as well before the bath because um, the blow-dry process is a little bit stressful. So I'm going to eliminate a little bit of that by kind of trimming off the bulk of hair at 
this stage as well and then I'll also be able to kind of go back and forth with trying to get the face in there. These nails are quite long so his feet would be sore. That's why he's kind of lashing out here. Have one that I got. I'm put the sticky powder on there. Okay, no biting. I'm really trying to get in there, eh? Ollie. <clears throat> Just look like any dog, even when aggressive. You just have to keep redirecting and keep following through on what you're doing. And hopefully they will stop that behavior. You know, but there are some dogs um, that won't. So it is kind of sometimes when you have to throw in the towel and let the dog be because you're not going to get past um, his aggression. So there's only been a few where I haven't been able to finish in my many years, but it can happen. Because as you can see with his face, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. But I will definitely do my best, so. Those nails are quite long, but uh, the one reason why he's a little sensitive to his feet being done, just because his feet would be a little bit sore. Techniques I use on the round the face if he is being resistant are not going to be pretty to watch. So be aware because you do have to hold them pretty good to get them to stop moving around and they most likely will be flailing around on me. Um, but when I do hold them I don't put any restraint on his throat. I'm using the back of his head and the back of his jawline so that he can have free movement, movement to still move around but um, I basically just want him to tire out and let him know that I'm in control as well so okay we're going to try a little bit on the face so this is the hard part take that off And also because his teeth might be sore, so I'm going to hold on right back here on the back of that. And then I also put pressure right on the back of the head here. So right now I'm not going to put any pressure on. I'm just kind of getting ready for him to resist. And hopefully he's just going to be a good little boy and stay so beautifully for me. Um, he does have a gross around his eye um, that his owner would like to see what's going on there, but he won't let her see it. So, so far, so good. 
And I'm anticipating around the mouth is going to be the hardest. But I'm going to work where he's allowing me to. Good boy. It is a good boy. I'm anticipating his mouth is a bit sore. Is this, our teeth might be a little bit rotten. And that's why he doesn't like you going around your face. But I'm hoping he will continue this behavior. Hey, buddy. Good boy. ears are full so I'm just going to go as close as I can to the ear canal and then I'll be plucking those out but his ears are right full of hair sometimes they grow really fast in there good boy yeah good boy all right and this is the side where the growth is on um, so what happens is when the, the growth keeps going there's an injury or a wart and it just continues to ooze out so all this is dried blood or dried ooze so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave that for now until I kind of bath him so I can hopefully get underneath it but once the wart is exposed it will just keep oozing so I can't really I can you know kind of cut any hair that's attached to it and then I'll help loosen it when it does come time now we'll come back after I'm gonna leave him because he's nice and calm and I really don't want to add that stress to him by me pulling on it unnecessarily good boy okay good good okay so I'm gonna do this side since he's staying so nice, I don't think I even need my hand under there. I know. Good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. Alright, so I'm going to try to go around his mouth now. You got to be very careful. In case he does try to bite, I don't want him to bite the scissors. This is possible. So right now I'm just kind of holding him up. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. There's lots of hair in his mouth here. I'm just trying to get that out with a little bit of matting. Then he doesn't have to lick that. It's probably annoying. That's okay. Good boy. It's okay. That's a good boy. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, he's kind of starting to get impatient, but hopefully he'll last. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Yay. It's okay. Okay. Well, aren't you just a good boy? Thank you so much. That was a very pleasant surprise. I was expecting much, much worse. Hey, good boy. Such a good boy. Right, so now I'll just trim up his head. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to trim under this ear as well. I'll let it get me a little bit closer so you can see how much hair is in there. So you can see there's lots of hair in there. So I want to make sure I trim right up close to the ear. 
so I can get all that hair out. That can make it very, very itchy in there. But luckily, it's not really waxy at all, which is nice. But all that hair in there can be really itchy for the dog. You want to make sure you're only pulling from inside the ear canal. Because, of course, outside is a little bit different type and texture. So you can see there's that's just one. And I'm going to make a little pile so we can see how much we actually get out of this ear. Good boy. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure he's going to get impatient with me. Hey. No. No. Stay. Okay, so now I'm going to have to use a holding technique. So I'm just going to bring the table down. I know. Mm -mm. No. It's all about when you've been doing it a while, you can kind of go with them. Okay. Okay. So I'm just holding the back of the head right now. I'm just trying to get my hand beside his head. So again, no pressure on the throat. I've got my hand just under his jaw. Just so I can have a little bit of leverage by pushing him against me. Good boy. All right, and there's the rest of his hair in there. And here is the other hair. So that was just from one ear. Good boy. All right, we'll see if he'll allow me to do this ear. Now that he knows what I'm doing, usually when you do one and they feel better already, they will let you in the other one. So when there is this much hair and you got to make sure you're not grabbing too much at once either. Because obviously, yes, it pulls out easy, but you're grabbing too much at once. So that's the first round. No, oh, it's okay. Okay. Keeps doing that, I'll have to use a different restraint on him, but I don't really want to. I just want to keep going if you'll let me. Just trying to pull a little bit out at a time. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, so close. I know you're getting impatient. Hey. hey. I'll show you the big hair clump after. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch sides and uh, kind of do the same thing I did on the other side. And pull him closer. Just so I can have a little bit of leverage with his head against my body. Good boy. Okay, okay. All right, and so this is what was in that ear. So you can see why it would be a little irritating. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, so I, I do my best to get the best camera angles, but I do have to still groom, so I'm sorry if I block the camera. I'm gonna try to comb out these ears. So I can keep a little bit on them if I can and round them out. I'll shorten them up now. And as I said, I am going to do the clipper on him before the bath. It's a method I've done before. I do, uh, I do like to bath them before. And it keeps the clippers a little bit cooler and stuff. But sometimes I will clip them first and then come back and do them again just to have a little less um, 
for senior dogs blow drying on them because that's really stressful i'm just gonna try to i don't want to comb too much because he is actually behaving pretty good here so i'm trying to make this as pleasant as possible because he has had a couple bad experiences at the groomer before me here so Not that she wasn't doing her very best. Just sometimes you just need to learn new techniques, that's all. All right. And with years of experience um, comes those techniques, but also being able to read the dogs a little bit better. And if you're calmer, they are certainly a lot calmer as well. Okay. So just at this stage, I'm just trying to get out any mats if there are. Take out the hair and going in there. I still want to leave a little bit of length on them. There we go. Good boy. Okay, so I'm going to use the number five on him because that's the number of length we discussed. So I'll take, out, take off the bulk of the fur. I'm not too worried about getting it really, really clean and even. I'm just trying to get the bulk off. And sometimes when you're grooming a dog that hasn't been bathed, uh, they can be a little finicky with the clippers. Just going to add a little oil. There we go, that sounds better. When I first started grooming many years ago, it took me about three and a half hours to groom a dog. Okay. So, it's all about continuing your practice. You'll get faster and faster. And learn from your mistakes. That's all you can do. So you gotta make sure you have all the proper tools. And hopefully these videos will also help you as well. Okay, so I'm gonna raise them up so it's just a little easier for me to do those areas. So the legs seems to be a little fizzy. Maybe on the legs, so we'll see how this goes. And if you he really doesn't like it. I may need to use the scissors. <laughs> he's giving me the look like he's not happy with me. Okay. Good boy. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna, instead of twisting him, lifting his leg and stuff, just, he's kind of holding it stiff for me, so that just letting me know that, that he doesn't want me to use the clippers in there. So I'll just use the scissors, and I'll come back and get underneath in there with a, a shorter clipper blade. I just got to kind of listen to what he's saying best I can. And I'm going to try to get right underneath there. There we go. <laughs> Looking at me like, what are you doing? Okay. Good boy. Good boy, Ollie. It's okay. I know. nipping but he's a little bit more sensitive for inside here so I don't want him to nip the clippers because I could cut him obviously so I'll just use the scissors in here I just want to work with him or his patience of what he's going to let me do Okay. 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 The scissors again in here. Just that it's a little bit more sensitive for him. It's okay. Okay, buddy. Hey, no. Oh, 
Okay, last leg. I'm very happy about that. This is doing way better than I anticipated. But still a little bit unsure. Come on. Okay. Oh boy. Let's see if we can get this one. This one is going to go okay with, so. It all depends on if they have arthritis in their legs. You know, when you try to lift it up and if they resist a lot, you know, you just got to kind of read what they're telling you. So it's hard until once you get into it and, you know, you just keep doing it and you'll be able to read the dogs. Just how they pull away and they'll kind of look at you and let you know that, hey, that they don't like it. Puppies will, won't like anything, so <laughs> that's because they're nervous, so it's kind of a catch-22. you got to kind of know when to push through and when to uh, alter what you're doing as well to accommodate. So the beauty of dog grooming. But that's what makes it a skill. Okay, so I'm going to try to... Turn around his bum area, and so I'm going to use number 10 in this area, um, and under the legs in the, in the groin area. Just try to clean that up, so we'll see how he does. Yeah, he's not going to like this. It's okay. So you got to go really slow when you lift the tail, because that can also have a lot of arthritis in it, so you don't want to pull it really fast. And I may not be able to lift it all the way up even. You just want to go slow, because so that's one area where if you pull too fast, they might bite. So you want to go slow, and then if it lets stay up, good. So I'm going to cut you off. I just want to keep going. Oh, you hit his nose. Let me see. That won't be up, eh? Oh, it's okay. You got the head off. Oh, you hit your head. Oh my goodness. So when he did that, he hit his head on his wart. Oh, you poor guy. So it's okay. It looks bad, but um, he just bumped his head on his wart and opened the wart up. So I will uh, put some cystic powder on there. Some big sneezes. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to do this side. Still sneezing. It's okay. Okay. Oh. I'm going to go down there. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Okay. So with this wart here, so I can see the wart is just above his eye. See, this is all dead, like I said. Let's see if I can get closer for you. So this part here is just all dead and very, very hard. So I can see some fur attached in there. So again, this is where you kind of go have to read with them. So I'm just trying to feel if I can get any fur that's kind of attached to it that I can kind of snip away at. It's okay. But of course the fur grows in there as well when it's wet and then or is in there and then when it dries it 
becomes part of it. Okay, well, I think I've gotten as much as I, oh, there's a big chunk of fur. I'm just trying to get the fur detached. All right, so I'm just going to take a big chunk of it off. Again, that's not the wart. And so I'm just using the scissors. Try to pry it away. As you can see, he's okay with me doing it. And I can kind of, whoop, it's okay. I can kind of see or feel where the end of it is. So I'm going to take one more. And then I'll leave that. So it, it's still not right down, but I don't want to go any closer because I don't want to accidentally kit it. So here I am going to uh, put some styptic powder on your head wound here. Trim around that wart a little bit. Oh, yeah. We dislodged it a little bit here. Okay, it's okay. But fortunately, the warts, when you touch them, don't hurt. But of course, it looks really bad. And I'm happy I got it all on film. That I did not do anything to cause it. But, of course, if there's anything that does happen, you always let the owner know. And then they can be aware of it and just watch out for it. But, here, yeah, we're ready for the bath. Good boy, you did so good. Oh, here, I'm just actually going to comb out his tail first before I give him a bath. Okay. Hold up. Just going to comb it out. All right, so it's a little bit matted, so I'm just going to use the thinly shears right off the bat. Okay. Again, you can tell he doesn't like me lifting the tail at all. It's okay.
kind of look in that area. Let's see if she'll. work with it, which she is letting me do lots with it. So I'm just going to take advantage of that and loosen it up and hopefully I'll be able to get to it after. Now that it's kind of all loosened up there, I know that you Okay, so I am going to blow dry him, and we'll see how he does, um, because he could, uh, being a senior, sometimes they don't uh, do well with the blow dryer. I'm going to get under this because it has dislodged. Yeah. And then you can see the actual what now. Good boy, I know. So that's what's left. And that's what oozes. It's basically just always exposed. And it'll just keep oozing. So as an owner, you can use some wet paper towel just to prevent the ooze from building up. Good boy. Just trying to get it a little bit even as he's letting me get in there, so that's good. But And then there's also hair that he kind of sucks back in his mouth so I'm trying to get that but it's a little hard to get that okay so now since I got the board exposed I am going to try to blow dry him we'll see how he does like I said we'll see how he does so it all depends on how he reacts to the blow dryer and when they get older they can react very, um, well, just don't like it. So I will read, go with what he says.
go with that. You can see. Okay, I'll take this off. There we go. Finish up with the number five. And then our boy will be all done. And it is very well. Just a little hesitant at the beginning with me, but uh, that's just because he was a little bit nervous. Well, just like that. And again, you got to learn to read because I was lifting up his leg at that time. So he does not like me lifting his leg. So um, when they get a little bit older, they get a little bit stiffer. So, so because he doesn't like me lifting it, now I'm just gonna trim it without touching it. Which just gives me a little bit more of a challenge. And that's why sometimes the senior guys may have a little bit of hair out of place because you can't get to it all because their joints are a little bit stiffer so you want to respect that as well but when he does try to bite he's actually not biting down thankfully So, but if you were to continue, if I needed to get a little bit more in there, I would definitely put on the cone. Okay, it's okay. Again, not putting any pressure on the throat. There we go. And you kind of want to release as soon as you can. Just so he knows why you're doing it, and then, then you don't need to do it any more than you have to. And this leg isn't as bad. So I can proceed. And the front leg, I remember, it doesn't like. We're just going to do the scissors and get that. All right, and there is our boy. So he did fairly well for a senior guy um, who just had a bad experience with his previous groomer. I'm just going to clean off this. There we go. Then I can kind of get the fur oh, and he does have I just want to trim one little piece inside his foot here there we go so he's kind of and then he still has a dew claw but it's really hard to lift that one up all right so there we go and there is the completed groom of our Mr. Ollie so hope you enjoyed the video um, thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope uh, you'll keep watching my videos. And please comment if you see anything specific you'd like to see. Let's see, just on the top of his nose. Okay, yeah, I might just have to leave it though. Anyways, I'm not going to bother him. So thanks for taking the time to watch. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll keep watching. And subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.